Hey guys, my name is Barry Infos and welcome to another GTA San Andreas 100% walkthrough video. This video will be the ultimate tutorial about gank wars in the game. In today's episode, I'll teach you everything you need to know about the ganks in the game and how to most efficiently take over territories. First of all, there's three types of territories in the game and they're located in all in Los Santos. The green ones are for the Grove Street families, which is your gang. The purple ones are for the ballas and the yellow ones are for the vagos. You can glitch out the game and introduce territories, gang territories all over the map and enemies of all gangs will be able to spawn in all cities of the map. But I don't know why you would ever wanna do that. The ability to take over territories is unlocked after the mission Doberman. After that mission the player can freely start taking over Los Santos. However, only after a few missions that ability will be taken away from you as well as every territory you have taken over. Which means that you shouldn't do it so early in the game because all your hard work will be for nothing. After the mission Homecoming however, that ability is back and you start from scratch. I suggest starting before the mission Riot because that mission introduces many annoyances to the game and will make things harder for you in terms of spawn rates in riot mode, there's many more police officers, cars explode more often and whatnot. If you're gonna use my method, however, all you're gonna need is a police bike right over here, and a lot of minigun ammo. An infinite amount is advised by me, as you can see I have infinite ammo for the minigun. There's two very good ways of doing that. During the mission up, up and away, you can glitch out the turret and give yourself infinite bullets. Click right here to see how exactly to do it. And the other method is to take a helicopter from the San Fierro airport, take it from right over here, fly over to the rail bridge, take the minigun from here and save at the Doherty garage. After you save, take the helicopter again and go take the minigun. Each time you do this, you get 200 bullets. And after a half an hour or more, you have an infinite amount. What I'll do is chain many territories together. I'll start from right over here, reach here and go to the left. I'm gonna take over all these territories. If you take all these territories, you're gonna get 35% of all territories owned. And afterwards, you can start the last mission in the game. As you can see, I have 15 right now, 15%. And the S mission is gonna unlock after you take 35%. So, shall we begin? First of all, what you need to do is get your bike, of course, get the infinite ammo for the minigun, stand in an enemy territory and kill three of the gang members. Next of all, look in one direction, they're gonna spawn behind you. Like so. You can basically control where they're gonna spawn, they spawn behind you. It doesn't absolutely always work, sometimes it glitches out and they spawn next to you. But usually it does, it does work. Okay, first wave done. The bike takes a very important role, so be sure not to lose it. And also be sure not to get any cops attention because after you do, it's pretty bad. You're gonna have some trouble. Okay, so second wave done. I'm gonna do only two waves. Every single uh, territory has three waves. So what you do? Wait for them to spawn, activate the vigilante and deactivate the vigilante. And now that territory is mine. Even though it doesn't say it's mine, it is mine. Okay, so I have started a new gang war. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Wait for them to spawn behind me like so. These are, by the way, the Vagos, doesn't matter which enemies you attack. If you're... For instance, if you attack three Ballas in a Vagos territory, Vagos are gonna spawn, not Ballas, because this is the Vagos territory. Okay, spawn again. And just kill these guys. Basically, I'm chaining many territories together. Second wave done. After the second wave, get on your bike, go to a, another territory, Activate and deactivate the mission as soon as they spawn. Now you don't have to wait for them to spawn. What you can do is just finish the second wave and start, you know, 
end the thing. You can just end it like right there. But if you want to make things a lot easier and chain it together, just wait for them to spawn first and then end the thing. Because this way is going to allow you to start the next territory right away. Let me demonstrate again. I'll do this many 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 times because I want you guys to see everything, how it should be. Because it's a lot easier to see it a few times, so wait for them, like so. And this is the reason why I wait for them. If you don't wait for them, you're not gonna be able to attack them directly and start the next gang war directly. You have to search around and then, you know, start a territory takeover. Okay, there's more. This is gonna save you like two hours probably. If you're gonna do this the traditional way, it's gonna take you probably two hours, guys. I'm not joking. Now this is gonna take me about 15 minutes. Because I'm chaining together and no other enemies attack my territory because this can happen if you take too long roaming around. An enemy gang territory an enemy gang is gonna attack your territory. Was that uh, number two? Was that number two? Yes it was. Whew. You have to pay attention now, I'm talking and I'm trying to say so many things so I kind of forget what I did the last time and you have to forgive me about that but there's just so much to remember, okay Spawn, there's so many, so many guys Okay Now this part is kind of tricky because you have to move to that location and they're gonna spawn right behind you like so, okay Now I have to wait they're gonna spawn next to me because there's no straight road behind me. Here. Okay. There we go. That was second wave. Okay. Now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is wait for him to spawn and run to another territory fastly or quickly, I should say. Okay. And do it again. Okay. This worked perfectly. No, my bike! My, oh, my bike is gone! Ah, uh, this happens too, guys, which is unfortunate. My bike is gone. Yeah. So when this happens, you pretty much have to find another bike. If there's no other bike nearby, you have to restart. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is end this territory and start again. And I have to do three waves now because I don't have a bike. The bike allows you to start the vigilante missions and end them right away. Okay. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'll find another bike. So this is wave three. Okay. And cup bikes are gonna start spawning right now. Give me that. Thank you, police officer. If this happens, you can just find enemy gangs. Let's see, are there any enemy gangs? Let's see how many percentages I have. 26, okay, I'm pretty close. So we need to find balls. There we go. There's balls. Okay, kill this balls, kill three balls, and start a gang war. And now, since I missed a few territories from there, I'm gonna return and do these ones. Okay, start that. Yeah, basically, some things can happen, bad things get back into the war zone. Seriously? Uh, now, if you take too long out of the war zone, it's gonna disappear. I mean, it's gonna get returned to the... Let's go back. Let's go closer to it. Okay, so, yeah, a little setback, but it can happen. It's good to warn you that things like this can happen. Okay, this was the first wave. Okay, good, good, good. If you stay close to the war zone, it's, nothing is gonna happen. It's not gonna get returned to there, to them. But if you get too far away, it is gonna return to them. Also, during these the territories, the cops will not go after you. Cops are not gonna spawn. But if you if you kill a cop before the start of, you know. This is gonna, before you start attacking a gang territory, they are gonna chase after you. I hope you understand that. 
I'm not always very clear with what I say. <laughs> but hopefully this video is gonna help you. This is a very easy way of doing this. It's just so much better, so much faster too. You don't have to destroy these cars, but sometimes it's good to do because they're kind of in the way sometimes. Second wave. And the third wave is gonna begin... Now. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> okay. So I probably have like 30%. Something like that. We shall see. And ca a cup spawned, unfortunately. Okay. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to chain them together because the next territory is pretty far away. Guys, wait for me! Okay, second wave. Good. I'll go kinda closer to that territory. And hopefully chain that one too. Sometimes they spawn up there, which is unfortunate. Guys! Come here, stupids! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to chain. Okay, go, 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 go! Am I gonna be able to chain it? Go, 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 go! Yes, I am. Okay, cool. Good. Am I actually? I can't see anymore. Let's see, how many percentages I have? 32! Oh, man. Okay, so I couldn't be able to cheat it because they were pretty far away from me. But, there were a few of them here. So I can change the next one this way. Okay. So. Taking over this one, the next one, and the next. Next one should give me 35%. The most unfortunate thing here is that the cops are after me. Okay, first wave. Then again, I'm gonna do the same thing. Destroy this car because it's gonna start shooting me. Just don't lose the bike. That can happen, and if it happens, it's really unfortunate. And you saw what happened. I couldn't change the last territory together because my bike disappeared. You can also do it in a police car by the way, but I advise you to do it in a bike because it's so better, so much better. Okay, because the bike is faster, it can, you know, traverse the territories better. This is wave number one, right? Pretty sure. There we go. Also, the minigun is the perfect gun for this because it's just so fast, it can kill him instantly. It's just the best gun here you can use. And having infinite amount of ammo is gonna help you a lot. Okay, wave number two. Let's start, hopefully, the last territory. Uh, go. Alright. Also, just find the straight road. Oh, I forgot. Oh. See, guys, I'm just talking too much and I'm forgetting to do some things. Not 35%, okay. Because <laughs> after the second wave, you have to change. So, yeah, I'm kind of distracted with talking, so you have to forgive me. So, I have 20, 35%. I have to wait for this star to disappear. And Sweet is gonna call me, so I'm just gonna wait here for a little bit. And I'll see you after the star is gone. Look at that! I want to destroy you, but <laughs> I'm waiting for a phone call. Yeah, as soon as the star disappears, Sweet is gonna call me. Call it Sweet. Hey, what's up? You find smoke? After we dumped on those ballers, the Fargo started to speak. We got him now. He's hiding in Los Flores or East Los Santos. Time to saddle up, CJ. Alright, I'll get you and then we'll roll over there. And yeah guys, this means that the last mission in the game has been unlocked. I can do the last mission right now. Now you have to own 35% of all territories. You can take over every single territory, but that's not required for 100% completion, which means that I'm not gonna do it. So yeah guys, that's it for this video, I hope it helped you. This method is gonna save you, as I said, about 2 hours or even more. So I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next episode when I'm gonna do the last mission in the game.